I'm being hunted down. No! She's here! A creature who is cold and calculated, who lurks in the shadows, stalking me and waiting for any opening to strike. I have already survived 50 days in this world full of parasites and an unstoppable monster who has chosen me as her next victim. Can I survive for 50 more days? Or is it already too late? Watch till the end to find out. Stay away! Stay away! Oh my goodness! No! Please! Oh my gosh! Wait! No! Stay away from Jeffrey! Oh my gosh! Dude! Uh, he's still out there. Somewhere. Ooh! Reload! Come on, please! Please, just die! Just die! Oh my goodness! Oh. My. Goodness. I just survived an attack from Gorgatha. That's what the locals call her. Bringer of death. But one thing was made very clear to me that night. I was not strong enough. Not only did she easily enter into my fortified compound, but it was like she was toying with me. She barely even attacked. She was playing with her food, AKA me. And she almost killed Jeffrey too. The villager who I spent days transporting thousands of blocks to my base and one who has kind of sort of become my only friend in this hostile world. But we live to see another day. Speaking of which, I found this whole wooden structure in a zombie house on day 51. It didn't have too much loot, but hey, every little bit counts, right? Some of this will be useful in making new weapons. More specifically, guns. You think I could survive without these things? Oh my goodness, you'd be horribly mistaken. Let me tell you, these guns have already saved me countless times, and they will continue to be a deciding factor on whether I live to see my grandchildren or whether I die young, alone, and with nobody beside me. Anywho, I spent this time gathering more resources like wood and quartz so I can finally build a proper house. Oh, and get this, it's day 51 and I just now figured out that there is a dodge mechanic I have been neglecting this whole time. Watch. Oh my lanta, why haven't I been doing this sooner? Bro, this would have helped me so much earlier. Jeez. I started expanding on my perimeter wall that night, making it thicker so that I could defend it easier if anything is trying to get in. I worked through the night and added a railing to it in the morning. Then I started filling in the backside with quartz. There we go, look at that. Everything is looking fine, mighty fine. That's pretty cool. Oh, and it looks even cooler on the map. Dang. Wait, I just had a thought. I need to light up the inside of my wall, otherwise mobs will spawn in there too. <gasps> no. What? She's small now. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Die. Just die. Ah! Ugh. Wait, why did I just run towards it? Ooh! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's why we light up the inside of the wall. What was I just saying? Sheesh. I started adding these thorny roots on my wall, kind of like barbed wire, and I don't think at this point any normal mobs could possibly get in here. Until there's a blood moon, of course. That's when hundreds of mobs spawn around you, almost regardless of light level, so there's pretty much nothing I can do about that. You'll see what I mean when it happens, because it seems to happen a lot in this world. In the first part of this video, I got like seven blood moons, and they are only like a one in 10 chance of happening, which is crazy. Hi, Jeffrey. Oh, you're a farmer? I thought you would have been unemployed by seeing how you, you know, your village was kind of obliterated last episode. And you know what? It's about time I do something. Jeffrey, you have been through a lot, like almost getting murdered multiple times. So I think it's about time 
you get your own name tag. Boom! Chicka boom! Jeffrey, my man. He didn't even react. Oh, I saw that little head nod. <laughs> Jeffrey approves. Let's go. Oh, that looks so good. Hey, I finally started making my official house on the night of 55. I've just been a homeless nomad living in the forest like some crazy hermit up until this point. But hey, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And before all you nerds in the comments start saying, Cool house, Shadow. Saw the same one as a tutorial. Shh. No, you didn't. Because I made this house from scratch, okay? With my bare hands. Brick by brick painstakingly designing it to perfection okay none of this house tutorial nonsense all right i don't believe in that stuff well <laughs> anymore as i was saying this house is gonna be perfect all right nothing you say will ever make me believe otherwise because it's what i think that truly matters <laughs> okay but on a real note building this house was such a nice breath of fresh air from the constant, you know, survival of this brutal world. Sometimes it's good to just sit back and relax, just build in and listen in to Adrian. Beringer. Seriously, this guy makes some incredible songs, bro. Just listen. Ah, music to my ears. It's day 57 and I'm outside getting wood, getting food, you know, just chilling. But that night was the first blood moon of this second episode. Oh gosh. Ugh. I hear so many mobs around me. Oh, what? They're spawning on the house? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, there's so many mobs. Ooh! Ooh! No! Please! How am I gonna survive this? There's so many of them! Ah! Ooh! No! Please! Do! Jeffrey! No! Stay away from him! Jeffrey! No, 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 no! 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 Die! 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 Oh my gosh, what is that? All my sheep are parasites. Oh my goodness. They do so much damage! Bro, I, did my helmet just break? Bro, I freaking hate blood moons. That? That was stupid. They just came in and tore my compound up. How rude! Okay, where's Jeffrey? <gasps> Ooh, Jeffrey! I don't want to shoot him. Please! Oh, wow. Oh, what? My sheep are back. Ugh, that was stressful. Sheesh. Yeah, that's what you get. I repaired everything on my house and my walls. I also made some powerful lures. In the Parasites mod, there's a point system. The more mobs the Parasites infect, the higher the point system and the more powerful the mobs are. These lures just reduce the point system, reducing the level of Parasites and making life a little bit more bearable for me. Jeffrey. <laughs> You almost gave me a heart attack, bro. <laughs> what? The boat just sank. What is this? <laughs> you okay there, buddy? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's perfect. I'm, I'm just gonna leave you be. <laughs> I continued building my house the way I want it to be built. But in all honesty, it's really nothing special. Just placing blocks. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about it. Built the roof today, added some detailing, I boated Jeffrey outside so he could see me and so I could keep an eye on him. He's way more interesting anyway, right? Oh, and uh, that night I started building the roof to my porch. I made it slightly slanted, which gave it some much needed depth. Look at that, Jeffrey. That's our home, buddy. It's coming together. <laughs> Pretty soon you won't even have to be stuck in this boat. How exciting is that? Yeah, I guess Jeffrey is just a little shy on camera. Oh, I saw that head nod. Jeffrey approves. <laughs> Just spam the comments with Jeffrey approves or something. That would be so wholesome. All right, this actually is starting to look like a house. My house, okay? I was listening to a mumbo jumbo video while I was building my house today. Copper flopper. So that proves that it wasn't a house tutorial. There. Oh, um, there's my wheat. All right, let's get you in my pen. Hello? <gasps> Whoa. What just hit me? 
Oh my gosh! I'm gonna die! Ah! What? It's her! How'd she even do that? She she was the cow? Oh my gosh, she's dodging everything! What is she doing? Oh no! Happened. She teleported. I don't like this. I don't like this. <gasps> She's in my house. No, Jeffrey, you stay away. Oh. You okay? You're okay, right? Oh my, bro. She could have killed him. She could have killed me. Why didn't she? And how did she even get inside? It's like nothing even happened. I really hate this. My armor was so damaged after that attack and honestly, I was a little depleted on resources. I reluctantly used my diamonds for armor, but <sighs> I had to. I just can't believe how fast it went down. They all had them breaking three, I'm pretty sure. I got prop three on my boots and my helmet, so that's at least pretty good. Ooh, I can get prop four on my chest plate, but I don't have enough levels yet. I hate being attacked right outside my base. Like, have some common decency. Eat. Some people. I wanted to explore that one underwater structure with the witches that I encountered in the first video, and oh boy did I get lucky. Oh, what? What? Are you kidding me? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Okay, I swear, I swear I did not put these here, okay? I had no idea this even existed. And looking from an outside perspective, this does look kind of sus. And you know what? I don't care, okay? I don't care. I know I didn't put it in there, so you can say it's sus all you want, but the matter of the fact is, the game just knew I was gonna find it and put it there, so yeah. That's, that's what it did, okay? Whatever. How about subscribing? It's free entertainment. So it turns out that structure was connected to the same underground subway system that I used to migrate Jeffrey to my compound. I explored it for a bit, seeing if there were any more of those rooms with the diamonds in them. But before I could, an old acquaintance paid me a visit. Wait, how? I'm underground. Oh my gosh, there she is. She's just staring at me. I don't like this. I, I'm leaving. <gasps> Do you hear that? I'll die if I go up there. Jeez. Ooh, okay, she left. What the heck is this? Th it doesn't matter, just leave. Please let me get back to my base. Please let me get back. Ooh, come on. All right, I think we're good. It's almost daytime anyways. Oh, Enderman. Oh my gosh, there's Enderman. Oh, he dropped one. Uh, I don't want him to teleport away. I need these pearls. Oh, okay, there's another one. Just chopping more trees today. A man like me needs lots of wood. I discovered that you can make these cool lanterns, so I hung them up in my house. Then I erased my enchanting setup and created a farm in my backyard. If you want to survive in a world like this, a man needs three things. A good shelter, which I have now, infinite food, which I'm in the process of setting up, and friends, like Jeffrey. Oh, some good weapons and armor and stuff, and then I guess knowledge wouldn't hurt either. And that night, I noticed a skeleton horse just chilling in the corner. So, naturally, I walked up to it. Okay, I knew it was a trap. Just need to kill these skeletons. Oh, my armor just teleports them away. Hit me. Go on. Hit me. Hit me. Oh. 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 I love that enchantment. Repellent gives you a chance to teleport your attackers somewhere else. So useful. Yes, I have horses. Oh, and the best part about these horses is that they are one of the few mobs unable to be infected by parasites. I think. I tidied up the basement a little, just making it livable, and turned my previous enchanting room into a storage closet. Yay, exciting stuff up in here. Ooh, and I found out that you can make these turrets. Look at this. Potato cannon. Technoblade would be proud. This is for you, King. I need to test this out. Come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, <laughs> not directly. Fire! Fire? Hello? Hello? It's not working. Oh my, and my boy just yeeted out of existence. Great. Ugh. Okay, round two. Come on, buddy. Come on. 
Stop burning. Just stop it. Oh my gosh. He teleported again. Again! Well, I, uh... <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to wait till nightfall, huh? Meanwhile, I tried to make flame bullets for my guns, but ultimately failed. Then I just expanded my potato farm. If I want to have a bunch of potato cannons all around my base, I need a stock of potatoes. Jeffrey sank again. He's in the floor. Huh? Where's he going? Really? Really? Ugh. He's like a teenager. Just rolling him back from the hole he decided to jump into. There. Okay, now I can- How do you keep doing this? Whoa. No. Hey. Are you kidding me? Jeffrey! What are you doing, mate? Alright, this is getting old. It's stupid. Seriously, Jeffrey. This time, you can stay in the house. Please. Oh, you got it. That's a nod. That's a yes. Okay, that's good enough for me. How do you keep doing that? I have never seen that before. Oh, Bruh. He really just did it again. Jeffrey. Jeffrey! <laughs> Are you okay? If all you wanted was a sheep, you could have just told me. Come on. <gasps> oh! Come on. Let's get you inside. See, Jeffrey? I'm not heartless, okay? Come inside. Oh, <laughs> the doors are in the way. Just move. There you go. Aw, he looks so happy. Look at him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What is bro doing? <laughs> so I was thinking about how Gorgatha keeps getting in my base. And I realized that the trees outside the compound are literally hanging just a few blocks away from the top of my wall. And she can jump like really well. So I think what she's doing is getting onto the trees and then hopping into my base. That is smart. Dang, Gorgatha's crazy. Okay, ready for your new home, buddy? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't you walk away from me, mister! Hey, I can cook you. Carlos! You are now Carlos. Carlos, that is your name. You can't take it back. Not ever. Never in a million years. That is your name. Um, where's Jeffrey? Jeffrey, he's not in the house. <gasps> no way did he hop the wall. Oh, phew. There he is, farming potatoes. Look at that, what a guy. I started adding more walls to my wall, but something caught my attention. Aw, look at them. They look so happy. Hey, yo! I was cutting down more trees when a group of parasites ambushed me. I made short work of them, but they weren't the only ones who had their eye on me. Oh no, where? Where is she? Three dangers, run! Just run! Run! Ah! Ah! Stay away from me! I really need to get rid of this staircase. Oh my goodness. Ah! My heart can't take much more of this. She left and I was now free to explore. I went to the abandoned city and found some things like this horse parasite and this. Oh my goodness, that's a good chest. I hardly could believe it. Look at how much redstone there is. I also found a chest with 57 slime in it. I don't know what I'm gonna ever use this for, but I'm taking it anyway. I found something alarming on day 70. I lost track, but look, that was not there before. What is that? It's what? What? It's stone. Oh my goodness. What is this? I think this is the parasites. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Oh my word. This is bad. This is act this is really bad. Ooh, okay. Oh no. Ooh, okay. Run. Just run. Okay. There. <gasps> oh! Die! Die! Okay, we're good. Wait, no we're not. This is bad. The parasites can't get me from the surface, so it's spreading from below. This is an entire biome of parasites. Dude, this is literally something out of Stranger Things. This is, this is the upside down, literally. If the parasites are spreading from down here and up, oh boy, that's not good at all. That means they're eventually going to spread up into my house and my compound. This is literally 
a ticking time bomb for parasites. And to my horror, the parasites were spreading underground to my base. Now I couldn't just hide in my base forever. Well, I could, but then I'd be dead long before the 100 days are up. I needed a new course of action. I needed to go on the offensive. I needed to take the fight to them. Which is why I made this flamethrower. Oh, yes. Oh, this baby kills them fast. Blood Moon. Oh, man. Where's Jeffrey? Oh, get back inside. Oh, my goodness. Please work with me here. Thank you. Okay, let's block off these doors. Um, I have to block off this, too. Who knows what could spawn down here? Okay, light everything up. No mobs can spawn in here, all right? Oh, my goodness. I hear them outside. Now it's just the waiting game. Not much is happening right now, which seems good, but one can never know if it actually is in this world. Half the time, quietness is really bad. Oh, my God. That scared me. Okay, what is going on? It's a blood moon, isn't it? But there are barely any mobs. What is this? Oh, it's a weeping angel. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a while. Man, those things are tanky. So quiet. Why is it so quiet? Seriously, that usually means something bad is gonna happen. Oh, sheesh, Carlos. <laughs> he scared me. I, I almost just slaughtered him. That would not be good. Oh. What? There's something out there. It broke my wall. I'm blocking this off for now. Now this was the most chill, uneventful blood moon I have ever had. Something destroyed my wall, but other than that, everything was easy. I got ambushed inside my compound today, and there was this weird flying parasite that I encountered. Nothing too special, but felt it was worth mention. I saw that the infection was really starting to spread. That was not there two days ago. Oh yeah, and I also kind of started a forest fire. Um. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I ventured outside my base on day 72 in desperate need of adventure. Being stuck in that compound for so long really messes with your brain. I was on top of a skyscraper when I discovered this guy. And you can't really trust anything to be friendly in this world, so I shot him over and over. This guy was so tanky. Look at this. Sheesh. He didn't really drop anything other than a lot of XP, which was pretty nice. I gathered my quartz blocks and headed back to my base, where I could see the consequences of my actions. Oh boy. <laughs> Mr. Beast, I, I didn't mean it, I swear. <laughs> well, it is good to be back. Ooh. Ooh, what's killing me? Oh my gosh. In my base? How is he just chilling in my base? Oh, and my armor. Look at that. Zero durability. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm like scared to even go outside at this point. I almost just died in my base. I needed to repair my armor, so that's what I did that night, which just so happened to be another blood moon. Jeffrey, hey, do not open this door. Don't you do it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Bro's really letting his intrusive thoughts win. I've been there. I've seen things. <laughs> Yo! Get away from the wall! I combined my armor pieces to repairing them. And then the following morning, I made sure to craft as many lures as possible. These parasites? Ooh, they're getting too strong. I was dead right. Look at that. The parasites have infected the ground inside my compound? This was really bad. A couple days ago, there were no signs of this. And now, there was a parasitic biome growing under and inside my base. Oh no, it's worse than I thought. It's so much worse than I thought. It's everywhere. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I'm surrounded. This is a problem, and I have no idea how I can fix it. I literally am at a loss for words right now. I was in a less than ideal situation, but to take my mind off the massive problem at hand, I was looking at my stockpile and was trying to think of what I could use my redstone on, and I came up with the brilliant idea to create a piston door at the entrance of the base, so I can get in and out easier. I've never made one in this version, so I was learning something completely new. I could explain everything that I was doing, but y'all aren't interested in that. Besides, I couldn't really tell you what I was doing. I was following a block by block tutorial on YouTube, okay? I said it. There. I'm not mumbo jumbo. Relax. Well, this actually took several days to build. Uh, two full days to be exact. And this is the finished product. Okay, watch this. Y'all are gonna love this. You ready? Boom! Chicka! Boom! Look at that! 
That is absolutely beautiful. And I added a little piston bridge to it because I'm like that. I'm a redstone savant. <laughs> oh crap. I, I just broke it, didn't I? Oh my. Okay, okay. We're good. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of this. This is, <laughs> this is so cool. And after like 15 failed attempts, it finally works. I even added like a second chamber just to make it even more secure. I couldn't pass up on a nice pathway either, so beautiful. All right, we have bigger eggs to fry because I checked the basement and just see for yourself the infestation is growing and it's growing fast. I went outside on day 76 and inspected that oil spout that's been piquing my interest as of late. I tested to see if I could set it on fire in any way and if I could figure out how then maybe I can use this in the future. Gorgatha has been quiet for a while, but she's out there, growing in strength. And she will come back eventually. I need to be ready for her. Really? Really? Jeffrey! Go! Move! What's your obsession with this hole? Why do you like holes so much? Okay, that sounded a bit weird. No! Move! Ugh, sometimes you're a pain, you know that? Now stay. Ugh, you're so weird. You're not even a farmer anymore. I think bro's going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> he thinks he's a sheep. Yeah, things were not looking the greatest on day 77. The infection keeps growing rapidly, and at this rate, my whole base will be covered in it in just days. I went out exploring and... Oh boy, where is she? No, uh, I'm not ready for this. Wait, get out now? What? I've never seen the locator behave this way. <gasps> I see her! She's right there! Transforming? No! Oh! Oh gosh! She's coming after me! No! Get away! Die! Oh my gosh! I'm dead. I'm lit. I'm dead. He's talking everything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please just die already. Ah. Oh my god! Wait, where did she go? Where is she? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Oh, I think that's her. <gasps> Please! Please! Oh my! Stay away! How am I still alive? Please! Please! Leave me be! I have to get out of here! I'm lost. What? Please! Ah! Please! Just build up! Oh my, oh my gosh, I can barely see anything. Ooh, she could jump that high? Stay away from me. Oh, I'm not going down that easily. I can't even see her. I'm just building up more. Maybe this lava is gonna do something? I'm just gonna have to wait it out. I'm, I'm dead otherwise. I should have been dead a long time ago, but still, uh, I'm just gonna make a platform up here and wait till morning. Oh boy, I can see her now. <gasps> and there's a ton of parasites around her. Oh, what? She's climbing up. What do I do? Oh my gosh, she's, she's coming. Uh, oh wait. <gasps> Please. Paraglider! <laughs> Bye!
<laughs> yes! I outsmarted her! Oh! Dude! Oh my gosh! Okay, I have a little head start, but she could be hunting me down. <gasps> Just as I say that! Oh my gosh! Ooh! She's here! Wait, I don't see her. Where is she? Oh, 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 okay. Well, looks like it's time to go paragliding again. <laughs> yes! This is so epic. Dude, I I cheated the system. She's she's hunting me down and I'm just flying away. Let's go. Wait, I, just, I think I just went in a circle. That's my lava. Oh boy, no time. I have to go. Oh my gosh, she's fast. Oh gosh. Oh my, whoa, she's catching me. She's right there. Oh boy. Yes, she went back. It's gonna be close. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, she was right there. Whew. I think we made it. Yes, we did it. I made it. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh my goodness. Jeffrey, wait, why does he have green particles? Jeffrey? Are you okay? I hope that's not a bad thing. Am I annoying you? <laughs> I think he nodded. I don't know why Jeffrey had those particles, but I've learned that anything out of the ordinary is usually bad in this world. And there we go. He doesn't have any particles anymore. Weird. Jeffrey, you're all good. You're looking a bit more spicy than usual. I don't know why I'm hanging around you so much. You're just a villager. He was not, in fact, just a villager. Jeffrey was the only friend I had in this world. Besides Carlos, of course, but he doesn't count. Sorry, Carla, I forgot about you again. Keeping him alive is a number one priority for me. We have actually been through some things together. We've seen some things. And it would be equivalent to killing me if he died. So I will do everything in my power to protect him, even if that means sacrificing myself in the process. The next few days were spent crafting the ultimate weapon. Well, not the ultimate weapon, but definitely my favorite, the AS-50 Sniper Rifle. Ho ho! Ho ho ho! This thing, this thing does damage! And a lot of it. I crafted tons of ammo and got ready to fight that parasitic biome underneath my base. Oh, I hate these things. These beacons are what spawn a ton of the parasites stirring around. At least these parasites are weak to fire. Kind of like the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Wait, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, these parasites have a lot in common with the Upside Down. And wait, <laughs> so does Gorgatha. Why am I just thinking of this? Wait, is Gorgatha a Demogorgon? Gorgatha, Demogorg, oh my. That cannot be just a coincidence, right? I don't know. All I do know is that I must survive either way. I can't fail my mission. Not now. I've come too far. Snipe some parasites, day 82. It's good. Gotta get those pesky vermin. And I also chopped some trees down, but that's not what you came here for. You keep your action. And that is what you're gonna get. I was running to get inside my base when an assimilated enemy attacked me. And he got me down to one heart. Ooh! Oh! That is not good. That is not good. I almost lost everything. I almost lost everything in just a split second. Imagine if I would have died there. All that work would have been for nothing. And I wouldn't even have had the dignity of dying to go gather herself. Which is why I started decorating my house more. Yeah. If I was going to die, at least I could leave behind something of actual value. I don't think decorations were the best choice here, but hey, <laughs> that's what you get. The growth was now implanting itself in my base, and it wasn't going to stop anytime soon. Water does a decent job putting it out, but it still grew back so fast. I think it was another blood moon that night, but not a whole lot happened. It's weird. I just shot some of the common mobs and parasites easily, and that was pretty much it. And it was the same with day 85. I simply just fought some parasites in my basement and did some organizing, and that was it. Nothing was really happening in what should have been some really chaotic days. We're nearing 100 after all. That's why I became suspicious. Something had to be going on that I wasn't aware of. 
and I was right. Wait! Wait! Carlos! No! What? Carlos! No! He's gone. Carlos is gone. The parasites infected him. But how? Ugh. Ugh. Carlos! <sighs> Carlos is gone. I don't think there's anything I could do to prevent it. One of the only friends I made in this world. Ugh, Carlos. Well, not everything is lost. Jeffrey is still here, alive and well. But how long will it take before a parasite infects him too? It's a cruel world that I'm living in. Just plain cruel. If Carlos was infected in my base, then that was on me. I didn't protect him well enough, which is why I needed to fortify my base even more. Hey Jeffrey, um, Carlos isn't coming home. I'm sorry buddy, uh, he's gone. Look at him. I think he's in shock. Denial? Anger. He's in the stages of grief. Or he's just a Minecraft villager and I'm reading way too much into this. That could be an option too. I crafted a bunch of potato cannons that night and put them around my house. If any mobs hop the wall, the cannons will shoot them to death. They don't do a lot of damage, but at least it's something. I started constructing a tower in the back of my base because you know what they say, if you can't see your enemy, then you are doomed to be stabbed in the back. Ugh, no one says that, I was just trying to sound profound again. It's really just a tower, okay? I need a safer position to defend against if Gorgatha or a bunch of other parasites swarm my base. Besides, it just looks cool. I started making the staircase, which would be a spiral one, going all the way up to the top. Yeah, I think Forge Labs is onto something with all these towers. It is pretty nice to have. And this is the finished product. Yeah, it looks terrible. That is the ugliest looking thing I have ever created. Oh, hey, Jeffrey. You like the new tower that I built for you? Good talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. I sort of just ran around looking for something to fight, but either they were all too afraid, or they just didn't want the smoke. Well, the locator went off that night, and I know y'all are etching for some action right about now. Okay, well, she sees me. <sighs> That's fantastic. Oh, gosh. <gasps> what? She's setting everything on fire. Look at this. It's a ring of fire! Oh gosh, something's gonna happen. Everywhere I look is parasites. I can hear her. That's her shrieks. Wait, where's Jeffrey? Jeffrey! He's not in the house. He's not in the house! Jeffrey! How did he get out? It, it was all blocked off. He's nowhere! Oh, there's a hole in my wall. Oh my gosh. Please don't be out there, buddy. I gotta fix this. Please. Okay, okay. What? Jeffrey? How did you get out of the house, you little escape artist? <laughs> Gosh. Well, he's still alive, but if he does that again, we'll be having a problem. You hear that? Good. We have an understanding then? Alright. It's day 88. Whew. We have made it 88 days in a world full of parasites and a creature hunting me down. I can't believe we've made it this far. Seems like yesterday I was just panicking in that cave for any source of light, just trying to make it through the first night alive. Ah, good times, good times. You go back inside, mister. It's more safe in there. Don't you look at me like that. It's for your own safety. You wouldn't want an eight foot tall tentacle creature to skin you alive now, would you? That's what I thought. <laughs> I went down in my basement and made a little observation station. Ooh, wait, I like the sound of that. Observation station, that's cool. Can I trademark that? <laughs> I don't know. But now I can study the parasites more intently. If they don't break down the wall, that is. I could hear the parasitic biome pulsating. So I ran upstairs to check on the growth and sure enough, it had spread even more since the last time I checked on it. And it didn't help that there was yet another blood moon that night. Gosh. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Wait, oh what? There's some right under me. Oh, hello. I gotta be careful. Apparently some of them can teleport up here. I have to take out the bigger parasites that we see, otherwise it will be impossible to leave if I have to make an escape. I sniped a ton of parasites that night, and I don't know if it did much, but it had to have helped some, right? It was starting to become morning when my locator went off, and Gorgatha was showing herself to me, and truly demonstrating how superior her intellect really is. Oh my gosh, that's her! She's right there! Wait, what is she doing? <gasps> what? 
She just set the oil spout on fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Why would she do that? Dude. Oh no. She's coming. <gasps> I can't get a shot. <gasps> Dude. Die. Where's my flamethrower? Oh no. No. She's up here. Please. What is she doing? Ooh! Oh my god! I can't hit her! Why can't I hit her? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Please, just die already! That's so dumb! I was shooting her! I don't know where she went. Wait. No! Jeffrey! Ah! Stay away from him! No! 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 Jeffrey! Jeffrey! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Oh! I won't kill you. Please, don't make me shoot you. Please, Jeffrey. No, everything we've been through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I should have protected you better. I should have been there. I failed you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to be this way. But I have to free you from your prison. The prison of your own body. Just pie, buddy. Sky He's gone. The I don't want to do this but anymore. Keeping Jeffrey alive was my biggest go goal. More than surviving myself. I could do it. I could walk out that wall and it would be all over. I could give myself up to that parasitic beast. <sighs> I'm not even going to close the door. If anything comes in, so be it. Jeffrey is gone and nothing else matters. He deserves to be remembered. Here's some stuff I know you loved, buddy. I will not let your death be in vain. I will avenge you, Jeffrey. I can promise you that. I immediately started brainstorming ways I could beat Gorgatha at her own game. It's about time I go on the offensive. She even broke my redstone door. So frustrating. I repaired my walls with the materials I had at hand. Not caring about looks at all now. This means war and nothing else matters. She killed my only friends, and now she's gonna pay. I studied the parasites in my basement, learning very little. Then I started to build a wall of fire around my house. The next time anything gets in here, they will wish they had it. That's all I have to say. That day, I thought of a brilliant idea. I was gonna blow up Gorgatha. Now hear me out. When she set fire to the oil spout, she was not in the direct blast zone. She was safe for that. Plus, she wasn't able to destroy it. If I could somehow lure her in the blast zone and detonate an explosion, she would definitely be at least injured if not dead. The question is, how am I going to do that? Something I need to figure out. I studied the parasites looking for answers, but all I was getting were these stupid little buggers. Not much I could go off of. I needed sand, so I risked going outside and mining some. I was in and out, easy as cake. Why did I need sand, you ask? Well, I did some research and there's a potion called Greek Fire. It's a potion that can set anything on fire and is completely inextinguishable. Why do I need these? Well, oil doesn't light from flint and steel or lava, but it will with this stuff. I could use these as the detonator. I spent that night crafting everything I would need, like this TNT and even grenades, but there were some things I could only get in the nether. Blaze rods. That's right, my new goal, defeat the Ender Dragon, as well as killing Gorgath. But if that fails, killing the Ender Dragon will unlock the End Islands, a place where no parasite grows, and a place where Gorgatha will never find me. It's a foolproof plan. I was looking for a fortress, but in this mod pack, there are little rooms that spawn all over the place and have a blaze spawner in them. So I quickly gathered the rods and searched for some endermen, eventually finding some and easily getting enough endermen. 
We made it, boys. The day was spent getting rid of the growth and setting off another skeleton spawn trap. Aren't these supposed to be like super rare? <laughs> Anyways, I went back into the nether and got a ton of fire flowers. That also may set everything on fire. We'll see. I finished crafting everything still meant to be crafted for my plan, as well as repairing more of my armor. Attila was finally ready to go build my trap. I made sure the coast was clear by killing all the parasites in the area. This was going to be risky no matter what. Anything out there can kill me pretty fast. I leapt off the wall and sprinted towards the trap point. I couldn't place anything since I was panicking, so I killed this big guy and that seemed to fix things. He was very tanky though. I made my redstone line going down to the base of the spout. Then I started making the luring mechanism. Basically just sound makers, pistons, note blocks, etc. Gorgatha has a keen sense of hearing, so she will come to investigate this sound, no doubt. Once I turn this machine on, it will run continuously because of the redstone clock. Looks like this part is finished. Now for the part that sets the oil on fire. I'm using six dispensers full of Greek fire potions and fire flowers to do the job. All I have to do is light one piece of TNT and it will blow up the dispenser, thus chucking the items inside onto the oil spout, setting it ablaze. Pretty genius, huh? There's probably a million ways to do it better than this, <laughs> but whatever, I'm doing it this way. And I set some more TNT on the bottom just to make the explosion even bigger. Now we play the waiting game. There's no way she doesn't come tonight, surely. Take the bait. Take the bait, you dumb beast. <gasps> there she is! Oh, please! I gotta hit my shot! <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! What? It didn't go off! Oh, okay, it's on fire! Yes! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Oh my! We did it! Look at that! Oh, there's no way she survived that, right? <gasps> Are you kidding me? She's not dead? Oh no. Is this her final form? Dude. Oh my gosh. She's so fast. Oh my gosh. Please! She just jumped over the wall! <gasps> she teleported! Wait, where is she? What? She burrowed underground? She can do that? Oh my goodness. I can't even shoot her. Take some grenades! Yeah! Oh, wait. She can, she can open the up here! Oh, what? I think she can phase through blocks now. I lost her. I don't know where she went. <gasps> She's climbing up the tower. I have to pull her up. Oh, why did I do that? Please go up. Okay, just keep going. She's up there. Ooh. Die. No. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there we go. We're about to make our escape. <sighs> Goodbye, home. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bye! I'm leaving, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yes! Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> Run! Run! Run in the lava! Oh my goodness, you're so confused. Look at her. She doesn't even know what to do. Oh wait, she's still trying to hunt me. Okay, craft my eyes of Ender. Where is she? Ooh, she's right there. Okay, go, go. I thought I had more time. My pick! Okay, it, uh, it's that direction. Ooh, that's cool. I have to run. I think there's an ocean over here. She's catching up, there's no way she's not. She has to be close to me by now. Yes! Yes! I'm sailing away! I'm leaving the mainland! Bye, Gorgatha! <laughs> Bye! She's still chasing me.
Oh, day 97. Not bad if I do say so myself. Dude, I'm going to be so far away from her after this ocean. Wait, I don't think it's possible for her to catch up in time. <gasps> yes! This is the first time in a while I've actually felt peace. Probably the whole playthrough. Just sailing in the water where nothing can really get me. I feel safe. Okay, now that it's dark, that feeling just came back. I think it's dread. Oh, what? There's a leech on me. There's an actual leech on my body. <gasps> oh, I found it. Is that a shark? Whoa, cool. So interesting. A mine shaft. The smallest mine shaft in history. <laughs> cool. <gasps> Ooh, there it is. And it's the portal room. What is this generation anyway? <gasps> Ooh. Is that diamonds? Oh my goodness, things are finally going my way for once. It's about time. <sighs> wow. My goodness. This has been quite the journey, hasn't it? So many creepy nights, so many close encounters, some friends made along the way. Everything has ultimately led me here, where I may not have defeated the deadliest creature known to man, but I will survive it. <sighs> There's no coming back from this. This is where I will stay for the rest of my life. The playthrough, I mean. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Now, you can start the epic music. Woohoo! Ooh, that does damage! Yeah, this will be easy. Oh, what? There we go. Oh-ho! Bet you've never seen that before. Oh, this is the shot. Is that the shot? Is that the shot? Whatever, I'm just going. Oh, what? That was a perfect throw. Dang. Really, dragon? Really? Now it's just you and me. This is gonna be fast. <laughs> oh boy, can't wait. Wait, why is my locator going off? What? Is she here? <gasps> no! No! How'd she catch up? No! Oh my god! How is she here? She's literally toying with me! She's just dodging everything! No! No! She knows she's one. She's rubbing it in. Oh, no! No! Please! Ooh. Please! No! No! Oh! It's over! No! It's all over! No! No! It's over. She killed me.